It's Thursday, May the 16th. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Thank you to EJ and Absolutely. Liz for last week for doing this for us. I know they did a yeoman job, and uh, we're glad to be back here with you. A- absolutely. And uh, we were fortunate enough this week. I was uh, traveling back, uh, but Phil Orlando uh, and a lot of his team were here in our office on a friend of right. uh, HMC's uh, and our clients, uh, he, he's uh, both talked uh, in person and then uh, on uh, a, a Zoom, uh, was here and talked about where the market was and expectations through the summer into the fall and into the end of the year. And some really interesting uh comments and thoughts that he shared. I think the, the areas that uh, he, he talked about being in are some of the areas, of course, that we started putting money back into in January. Small caps, mid caps, uh, not as much international as, as they, they like, but, but uh, that, that was an area and value oriented. Value oriented. Uh, uh, holding. So uh, talk a little bit about that. He also, um, I'll add to it, we'll talk more about it. He he added uh, to it uh, needing to move out the line on duration. And we're, we're, we're we know we got to do it. We got to, uh, I'm, I, we're still evaluating, but back to the equity side. Um, he, he said, really, you need to be cautious through the summer. He said that the market is going to be choppy. He would not be surprised for another pullback. Uh, he says things are pretty much overvalued, driven by the Magnificent Seven. But there are some great opportunities out there that you ought to nibble in. And from his perspective of where he's investing Federated's money, again, he's in charge of chief equity strategist for them. They're actually uh, overweight from a neutral position, ever uh, about a 5% position. So he's, he's invested and committed to the market. Uh, he said um, things like uh, utilities. He said things like you mentioned in values, uh, small caps, mid caps, and he mentioned international. And then he also talked about in the right situations, of considering taking profits, especially in technology, where the, you have an either, either overbalanced position because it's grown so much, or you have a significant profit uh, in your in your holdings. Uh, he's not saying getting out of it. He's just saying don't be greedy. Let's take a little bit off the table. Yeah, let's go back to to utilities because that's one of the most unsexy areas, oh, at yes. least historically. Uh, that, that there is. But when you think about the environment that we're in currently with uh, AI, artificial intelligence, something's got to power all of this artificial intelligence. It takes a lot of gigawatts to, to power what's going to be needed in the next five to 10 years. So who does the power? Well, that would be your utilities. That's right. So I think that's an area that we'll be looking at as time goes on because uh, we we have we have some very good utility companies in the southeast. He uh, further emphasized and talked about the fundamentals of uh, the market and how they don't change, even though the COVID in 2019, in 2020, 2021, 2022 uh, skewed how things were. Those fundamentals, price-to-earnings ratios, uh, good cash flow, abilities to increase dividends, uh, ba- strong balance sheets, should be something that the market is getting back to and is rewarding. And so he pointed out that these positions, the, the small and the mid, the value positions, the utility positions, the international, there is where the good buys are at this point in time. And when these fundamentals... Uh, fall in place, there's where the potential rewards are. If we have a downturn, which he it would not be surprised about, he thinks then a more broader market is going to uh, 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 come, come up. The so, pruning would have to occur. So he, um, he, he finally said, which was interesting in a large part, we don't have time because it would take up a lot more time. Politics are certainly paying uh, a, a lot of effect or giving a lot of effect to where the market is. And he said, watch three to four weeks prior to the 
uh, election. If the stock market is down going into the election, historically there's a change in power in the White House. And he says there would be a good cue. And then he said following that, if that occurs, he says there's where the reward is going to come. There you go. So there you have it. It was a good meeting. We're fortunate to have relationships with folks like that. You give us firsthand uh, knowledge, does it in a person-to-person -person position, but it's done to help you as, uh, as good friends and clients of HMC. And we, we always know that it is your money. And your money matters. All right, we'll see you next week. See you next week.